And my question is, why can't we all just get along in the world today? Is there room for everyone? Yeah, why can't we get along? I mean, it seems so simple, doesn't it? I mean, I love all people. Why can't everyone be like me? But the problem is, none of that's really true. It's actually the other way around. It's your inner intention that's screwing things up. I mean, this antagonism can't be fixed from the outside in. It's not up to other people. Nobody can fix it but you. And we're all in the same boat. Our very nature is egoism, the will to receive. And the whole of what we call creation consists only of that. And what surrounds that is the law of nature. And the law of nature is altruism. Its essential force is love, and every detail of it keeps the general law of the universe and functions like one vast organism. And all the things that seem to exist outside of us as separate objects, they all work together just like organs inside of that body. They receive only and exactly what they need to survive, and they give everything that they can for the well-being of the whole. And science is now discovering this law everywhere in deep space, in the ecosystem, in the atom. Everything in nature functions that way, except for the inner life of a person. The law of human nature is just the opposite, to receive as much as possible to satisfy the self, which always ends up being at the expense of others. Can you imagine how long a human body would last if it was made up of cells that thought and felt the way that we do? How? I mean, that's the very definition of cancer, isn't it? Right now, everything that we do, even the most outwardly kind and generous acts, are done only with the intention for self-satisfaction. Okay, it's not our fault. We were built this way. But as long as we rely on our created nature to guide us, we're never really going to get along or love anybody else, no matter how nice we think we are. Our inner life wasn't designed as a place to obsess about ourselves. It's the place of transformation and connection with the law of nature, the singular force of love. So to heal the global hatred that you see all around, you need a method of using your egoistic nature in a way that allows you to rise above it. That's why all the religions and the deepest dreams of our heart say we must love our neighbor as ourselves. Love others exactly as you love yourself, putting their interests before anything else just like you do with your own right now. Because nobody can fix this but you. All religions preach that, but only the wisdom of Kabbalah explains how to realize it. For more information, check out the links above.